It all started one night in the middle of February. My close friend was regaling me with stories of his many romantic conquests. But when he asked me to share some tales of my own, I realized that I had nothing recent, nothing fresh. Now, the thought had never struck me before, but it threw my friend for a whirl. If I want to be happy in life, he said, I need to get a girl. Personally, I've never subscribed to that crap, but to humor him, I downloaded Tinder, the app. At first, I didn't touch the thing, but eventually I said to myself, it couldn't hurt just to peruse. After all, I've got nothing to lose. A couple days later, I've got a match. A moment's conversation, an LOL or three, a moment's admiration, and that's when we agree to get dinner. Together. Olive Garden. Saturday. Okay. Fair enough. Flash forward. I'm at the restaurant, shifting in my seat. Nothing to do but twiddle my feet. A buzz in my pocket, a ding in my ear. It's a message from her. She says that she's here. She enters line of sight, and my heart goes running. Her profile was all right, but in real life, stunning. Eyes like jade, hair like cup noodle, voice like a flaky warm Pillsbury strudel. She sits down. We exchange a few pleasantries, and all the while, I couldn't help but stare. All was going well. And then it happened. The waiter says hi, and he drops something by. When I turn my head, I see a basket of bread and a single, golden, shiny, pristine stick of butter. Never before had I seen such a beautiful piece of congealed milk product. Hunger running rife, I grab the butter knife. I cut myself a wedge of dairy so legendary that my mouth waters just at the sight. Time to get the lead out. I get the bread out. When thought in my head, I begin to spread. How purely the knife makes the surface so seamless. Quite surely a life has no purpose if creamless. And who knew mere milk could be smoother than silk? I take a bite from the slice and I'm filled with bliss. Not even the gods know an ambrosia like this. And at that moment, I knew I had to have more. I had to have it all. But wait, I would certainly hate to ruin this date. Yet, the land of lakes, for goodness sakes, my stomach turns like a butter churn until finally the dam breaks. All at once, I lunge across the table. My hand clenches around the stick, sending slush spurting out from between my fingers. With a graceful flurry, I get a face full of slurry, filling my mouth, my cheeks, every gap between my teeth. A revelation's felt as down my chin the liquid trickles. My reservations melt just like a cone of butter brickle. But hold on. Something's wrong. I'm trying to slide the triglyceride down my throat, but it won't go down. Images flash before my eyes, the girth of my esophagus, my birth and my sarcophagus, until finally I give a mighty heave, sending a brilliant fountain of golden liquid cascading out from betwixt my lips. And when I opened my eyes, I found myself in the same position as when I was born. Cold. Shaking. Covered in butter and alone.